what's up guys, Cypher here and welcome to a brand new tutorial about how to create your own VG loops. Today I will show you how to create the animation of my latest free series called Disco Basics and what we're gonna do looks like this. So this is some sprite particles uh, on a grid that are moving and I've animated some color change and I animate a rotation on mirrors. So let's jump into After Effects and see how we can do this. So once you're in After Effects, create a new composition, name it Disco 01, 720p, I use uh, 30 frames per second and 16 second lengths. Okay, add a new solid, name it 401 and for this effect I use the trap code form here trap code form uh, it's in the trap code series so it's the same that particular that we used last time uh, the difference is that a particular is emitting some particles and creates an over time where form is a grid of particles so it's always here uh, I'm gonna add a camera to show you. For people who don't know, so this is for trap cut form. It's particular grid in 3D space, and I can change the size of the grid. I can change the size of the particle and bring some fractal into it from the space. So I can change it. I can add more particle in this space and really create some nice geometric looks. And then I can play with each particle. So I can decrease some and yeah, just change the size of the particle, put some random and really create some awesome stuff with this one. Just be careful because sometimes if you do some too much difficult stuff and you add too much particle it can have a huge render time but you can do some awesome stuff with this so just restart and delete this one and add trap code 4 so actually what you would want to do is uh, in the first time create the main animation on the uh, basic particles so I go to base form push the size of X and Y to 2000, so it's much more bigger than my comp. I don't want anything in Z space, so just put to zero and particle in Z to zero one. So I just have one grid. Uh, push the particle in X and Y maybe down to 50, and then into particles, push the size up. So you can see each particle going up. Uh, push the sphere of feather down like this. And then we're gonna add some color. In the quick map, color map, here you can add some gradients and map it to X, Y, radial or even to what you want. So we're gonna push this rainbow, it's default to X like this. Then what we can do is uh, change the size random and the opacity random. And now it starts to look very nice. So now we need to animate this because it's not moving for the moment. For this, we go down in the fractal field and we're gonna push the effect size a little bit up, just a little bit, effect opacity too, maybe a little bit more like this. This place, we're gonna push this to 15. So now as you can see, it start moving and wiggling a little bit, but very randomly. And I want to give him uh, this moving to go up to, so, so give, to give him a, the feeling that it's a continuous animation and not just wiggling like this. So for this, I push the flow on white down and now you can see it start to going up so maybe push it down to 350. And now it's start to look very nice. 
goes a little bit fast, maybe. Push it. Push the flow a little bit up. Maybe 200. 200. Yeah, that starts to look interesting. So now I'm going to add some rotation. So close the fractal fields, close the particle. That's all good. And go down to world transform. And here I can transform the whole grid. So can add some rotation and we're gonna just rotate it on X. And as we did it bigger than our comp size, we can easily rotate it. We never had the end of our grid. So go to zero, push a keyframe and go to 16 second and push keyframe to two. So it's turn two time in our 60 seconds. Really nice. Now what we can do is change the particle look. So we can create some sprites like we did, la well, like we did last time. But uh, instead of creating just a line, we're going to create some stars. So create a new composition, make it 150 on 150, just one second. Hit OK. Uh, now we're going to add a new layer. Solid, like this, star 01. And in our masks, here we're going to search the star tool and double click on it. So when we double click here, it creates the mask on the layer we selected. So this one. And we can see we have our star. Then just go to generate stroke and push the brush size a little bit up. As you can see, it's very near to our border, so we can just don't scale it a little bit like this. And as you see, we don't scale the layer. So that means our layer finished just here and we don't have the top of our stroke. So we can fix that by just clicking here of this little sunshine, whatever it is, and now it's okay. So this means uh, it makes the effect bigger than just the size of our layer. So on 2D layers, it's really interesting, but once you start to really work in 3D space and everything, uh, if you add this little sun, it starts to be very strange stuff. So it's, it's a good tip, but not to use all, all, all the time. So, and uh, maybe we can don't scale it. So just push, put a keyframe here and at one second, push the scale down to zero. Wow, very nice. Go down into a disco loop zero one and import. Oh, we haven't renamed it. Rename it. Really important, always rename everything. So this is sprite zero one star. Because once you start to work with a lot, a lot of composition, of layers and everything, it's always good to have everything clear and good renamed. And okay, uh, okay, rename the disco loop and import the straw. Hide it, go to particle and change the particle type to sprite colorized, texture and Sprite 01 star. And this looks so nice. Look at this. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Push the time sampling to random loop. And now you have all the stars on this perfect grid moving and scaling. That's so nice. I love this effect. I love basic things. That looks the best all the time. Yeah, push the size maybe a little bit up. So now what we're going to do is create a new adjustment layer. Name it saturation. And add an effect into color correction, hue and saturation. This one, 
So, and now here, if we animate the master hue, we can change the color. And as we have a rainbow gradients, it's just gonna move this gradient perfectly. So, just push everything to zero, make a keyframe here, go to the end of a comp and make a keyframe maybe on two. So it's turning two time around all the colors. So, and now last thing to do is adding a new adjustment layer, name this, mo this one Kaleida and add into stylize CC Kaleida. And this is a kaleidoscope effect. So uh, looks a little bit old school, but damn, this is so good. You can, it, it's much more faster than using mirror. So, so sometimes you have to use the mirror to, uh, to be more free in what you want to do. But this one is so powerful. You, you have, uh, you can control the size of a Kaleida. So you can have some really strange look. Uh, you have different Kaleida looks too. You have the flower, the stars and everything. And then you can rotate it. And that's made it look so great. So we're gonna push the size uh, to maybe, one well, yeah, push it to 100. Uh, yeah, we're gonna use the stylish this one. Oh, I think I had the flower. Yeah, I had the flower on the loop. All right, we're gonna use the stylish just to have something that look different. And then last thing to do is just to animate the rotation. So go here, push keyframe on zero, go to 60 second, push keyframe on two. And here is our animation. So now it's f now you are free to do everything you want. Uh, maybe you can change the sprite using a circle or a curve or every form you want or don't push the Kaleida, push some normal mirrors or change the colors or everything you want. But last thing we have to do is to make this loop perfectly. And uh, first time we saw that the animation was BPM synced, so it looped normally perfect. Uh, in the second one, uh, I think it was with the particle emitter. So we just have a moment we start emitting and it stopped emitting and the two are fits perfectly. But here the particles are always here and it's always looks so random. So we're going to see a brand new way to make them loop perfectly. So create a new composition. Name it disco loop. Zero on, final loop. Make it 20 second length. And ah yeah, 720p, sorry. Import the disco loop zero one, two time. Uh, yeah, we have to change the length of the disco loop zero one to 20 second two. And expand this effect on all the comp. Uh, okay, perfect. So now you go back here. So what we're gonna do is go to eight second, where we have on the two layers exactly the same image and we're gonna push the beginning of one here and the end of the other one here. So it has to be perfectly on the same frame. Yeah, like this. And then push this one to the beginning. and the other one to the end. But attention not 20 seconds are here at 16 seconds because we want our final loop to be 16 seconds. So it's a perfect loop at 120 BPM. So now once we did that, we can 
push the length of our composition to 16 seconds. And now you can see that the last and the first frame are exactly the same image. So it's got, if, if we play it in a, in, a, in a software like Resolume or in Mixvibe Cross or something like that, when it's going to loop the visual, the loop will be perfect. But, but now the main problem is that here in the middle, I have to make a fade between these two loops. And here we can see that it's not the same animation, not the same color and everything is bad. Or, so here we have to find a solution. So uh, let's go back into the Disco Loops here one. Uh, we put all the animation here at 16 seconds. So here nothing is going to move anymore, not the color or not the rotating and nothing. But we add four seconds. So we have four seconds to make a transition between the two layers in the final loop. So what we need to do is just to continue the animation perfectly on this four seconds. So we're going to go here at four seconds and look what values we have. So first of all, we have the rotation. It was in the transform, well, transform here. So rotation is at 180. So we just go to 20 seconds here and push to two and we add 180. So it start rotating exactly the same speed than on all the rest of the animation. And we're gonna do the same for the saturation and for the Kaleida. So now it continues moving like this. We can go back in our final loop and now we can see that the positions, the colors are the same. It's just that the particles have a random loop. So we're going to make a transition with masks and you're going to see it's going to be magic. You're going to see nothing. So on the first one, this one is entering. So at eight seconds, I need to see it and then it has to disappear. So put a mask, double, no, not like this, double click. So we have a mask on all the comp. Then you can go in the mask preferences, mask mask, add a keyframe here, go to 12 seconds, select this mask. Okay, it disappear or what? Uh, yeah, it's the end of the comp, maybe, no. Where is my mask? Okay, it's here. So go to exactly 12 seconds, uh, one back, and push this one up. Okay, and now you can see that the mask is moving up. And if I hide the second layer, I can see that this is gonna disappear. So I'm gonna just add some mask feather, maybe 50 to add some feather on it. And then I'm gonna push a mask on the second layer here. So same stuff, double click, add a keyframe. But we're gonna put this one like this and push up at 12 seconds. like this, add the feather same to 50. And here you're gonna see it's gonna made our transition. But as the color and the movement and everything is exactly the same, you don't gonna really see this transition going up. But if I hide, you can see that it's really here. So if you zoom in, you can really see that it's transition, but it, everything is going so fast when you're playing live that you don't really see it. it lo this looks perfectly. Now you can export it and you're ready to go. You have your perfect loop, you can change the animation and yeah.
So guys, this was my brand new tutorial. If you haven't seen it, I just updated a little bit my website, cypervisuals.com. Uh, I've added this blog because I've just recently made like, it's here, a video clip uh, from Ping Pong from Avin Van Buren Hardware, you can see it, it's really nice. And I will try to add some pictures because a lot of you guys sending me photo pictures and videos from you using my visuals during your performance. So I'm gonna add this in pictures. I have made a section for the tutorials, I haven't it before, and for the free footage too. Free footage that you can download on my Facebook page here, Cyper. Uh, you can click on like. We are really close to once 100, 1,000 likes. Really, really close. And yeah, uh, I have a special gift for you when we are 1,000. And I'm working on some big new projects with visuals, with music, and bringing everything together. So uh, feel free to like or just share everything. Uh, how much we are, how bigger things we can do all together. So that's really nice and got some really big feedbacks from you guys. So I'm so happy with this. Thank you very much. And yeah, see you next time for a brand new tutorial.